Hello, Dr. Ed Huggett here. Today, I want to look at the question of dry eyes and, and what can be done for it. You know, a lot of people are talking about dry eye, dry eye syndrome. Dry eye syndrome is a condition where the eyes are actually too dry and causes some issues with pain, discomfort, uh, foreign body sensation. Uh, it occurs more frequently in females, uh, more frequently as we get older. But a lot of things on a daily basis can uh, contribute to that uh, condition of dry eye. And dry eyes, your eyes will feel dry. They uh, can be something as simple as maybe feeling like a little gritty sensation in the eye. Sometimes it can be where the eyes actually drip water over the side. And that's because the brain is telling the eyes to overcompensate and make too much tears because the underlying eye problem is dry eye. Uh, it could be something as severe as a person waking up in the morning and their eyelids literally stuck to the front of their eyeball, and which can cause even further serious problems. Uh, one of the things I always like to, tell, I like to tell people to do if you have dry eye condition uh, is to blink more frequently. No, I don't say that because that was actually tried years ago uh, to tell a person, just, just blink, blink more frequently. Well, blinking more frequently uh, is a tough thing to remember. So if you're staring at a computer, uh, you can't keep telling yourself to blink more frequently. Uh, but what you can do is uh, you can actually drink more water. So if your mouth is dry, your eyes are already too dry. So keep that as a little indicator how dry your eyes are by just how moist your mouth is. Uh, two, certain medications can cause issues. Uh, you know, uh, antihistamines, diuretics, they can cause uh, an issue with dry eye where you become dehydrated. Uh, caffeine, real common cause of uh, dry eye, drinking too much caffeinated uh, beverages. Uh, so if you drink uh, a cup of coffee uh, that's caffeinated, you're probably going to eliminate more, a little more than a cup of uh, water eventually. So you actually have a negative balance of water. So you got to make sure you get enough water. Uh, as we know, alcohol does the same thing too. So watch for that. Uh, lubricating eye drops are great, a great start. Uh, and it's always the first line of defense to, uh, to help with dry eye. Great lubricating eye drops over the counter. I typically like to go with uh, ones that don't have a uh, a whitening agent, what we call a vasoconstrictor. So stay away typically from the uh, the drops that say we'll get the red out, uh, but uh, and go with a drop that has uh, less or no preservatives in it, a preservative free. A lot of times on the package you'll say PF, so preservative free uh, type of uh, a lubricating eye drop. And they uh, they range in anything from a very liquidy, very watery type of uh, uh, drop all the way to gels and even to uh, ointments. Uh, there's things like uh, uh, refresh PM and, and various other uh, lubricating ointments that you put in uh, for very severe dry eyes or just before you go to bed at night if you have problems at night. And one other thing to watch for, and that is the fan. Sleeping under a fan at night can severely dry your eyes out. Most people, in fact, about 70% of the population sleeps with their eyelids open part of the night. And what that does, if you're sleeping under a fan, that allows that evaporation to occur and water evaporating off your eye to cause your eyes to be much drier. Uh, look for lighting too. Lighting's critical, proper lighting, um, flicker free, uh, flicker with a light. Sometimes uh, LEDs will do it. Sometimes uh, fluorescent lights will flicker. Um, you want something that's glare free. Uh, and blow, uh, low blue light output is really critical too. That's uh, important when it comes to keeping your eyes feeling comfortable and not drying out as much. So there you have it. If questions, leave them here. Comments, love to hear them. And uh, we'll talk to you soon.